Hey, it's Liz with Peninsula Pups. I realized that I didn't introduce myself or anything in the last two videos. I'm Liz, I own Peninsula Pups Doggy Daycare. Um, we've been open for 12 years, um, and that's why I wanna throw these uh, tips of the trade out to you so um, you can have a happy dog. So um, we call these the doghouse rules. We talked about not picking up your dog last time. And these things aren't like forever. It's not like you can never pick up your dog again. Um, it's just in the beginning to instill confidence, to let them know they're safe just being a dog. Um, the, these things also work if you have a dog that's starting to show some behaviors you don't like. Um, a lot of times just them knowing you're the leader is enough for them to get it together just calm down and be confident. So not picking them up and not letting them jump on the couch or the bed or onto your lap or in or out of the car um, unless you've invited them to do so. So it doesn't have to be like a big deal. They can just be sitting there nicely, calm, just behaving. You can say, okay, you can come up now. Um, or you can have them do a sit, a down, something. Dogs love to earn your love. Um, and there are my dogs barking. I'm just gonna close this door a little bit there, okay? Um, we'll talk about that kind of stuff later. <laughs> anyway. Um, dogs are like toddlers. They should not be making any decisions whatsoever. And you making those decisions for them actually puts them at a in a better place mentally. So I'm sure we've all met the dog that's like jumping on the chair, jumping on the couch, running around, jumping on you, going outside, like just crazy. It's because they don't they don't know what their expectations are. They don't know if they're going to get in trouble or not. Um, they don't, they don't know, they don't know what's going on. So one of the things you can do is not letting them just jump on the couch whenever they want. I'm just going to say couch, but I mean like any surface that you can sit on. So I always say, love them like they're your child, but treat them like they're a dog. And I say dog is the sixth love language. I don't know if anyone's read the book by Gary Chapman, five love languages. It's amazing. Dog is the sixth. So we need to learn to speak their language. And all these tips I'm going to tell you are dog talk, dog speak. Um, so something as simple as you cannot get on the couch until I tell you it's okay um, is a way to establish yourself as the leader. It lets the dog know you're in charge. It lets the dog know they have nothing to worry about. Um, and you'll notice at some point, um, maybe you like get in bed and you're like, your dog's just sitting there. You're like, oh my gosh, I didn't tell you okay. So it just becomes a way of life. Um, owning a dog is a lifestyle. It is not a hobby. So I'm just breaking these things down little by little. Um, so don't pick up your dog. Don't let your dog jump up on the couch, the bed, in or out of the car. They should always look to you for direction. And then everyone will be happy. Okay, until later. Uh, oh, and also if you want, like if you have questions or something, just like DM me, comment, whatever, um, and I can just answer questions. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep on talking. Okay, bye.